Season 5, Episode 9 of Futurama is called The Sting. In it, we see the Planet Express crew being presented with a difficult mission, one that they surely cannot accomplish. Bad news, everyone! You're not good enough to go on your next mission. Hooray! Not good enough! Why? Says who? Fonsworth explains that the previous crew died on this mission and that it's simply far too dangerous. This is good news to Bender and Fry, but not to Leela. We are just as good as any of those other crews you sent to their deaths. But Leela, we're no good. I'm scared too, but I'm more scared of disappointing myself. I'm not scared of that at all. <laughs> The mission is to collect honey from a colony of space bees, and at first it seems they are successful despite the difficulty they face. We got lucky this time, but you should be more careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. Thanks, but I can look out for myself. Unfortunately, a captured queen bee wakes up and attacks them. You're gonna have to go through me! Ah! Ah! He's... he's dead. The episode takes a turn as Fry, arguably the most important character of the series, dies to save Leela. We see a funeral, references to the beginning of the series, his past loves, and strong sentiments shared by each of the characters. Leela, struggling to deal with her grief, decides to eat space honey, falls asleep, and dreams about Fry. He says he can prove he's real by telling her where he hid a gift for her before the mission. There's just one thing I want you to do. What? I want you to wake up. Make up, but I'm not... In her next dream, Fry takes her dancing in a Venusian garden and drinks hot chocolate with her on Hyperion. Here, take my jacket. You look a little cold. Thank you. Leela talks about how this has to be real because she would never take such good care of herself in her own dreams. So there has to be a way to convince everyone else this is real. All you have to do is wake up. No, no, don't say that. This is real. <laughs> The story starts to get a bit more complicated because Leela wakes up with Fry's jacket, the one he was buried with. When she presents this to the crew, she sees it's actually her jacket. Everything's going to be all right, Leela. What? Leela begins to lose her mind, and she lets everyone know she's been taking space honey, which explains her behavior. One spoonful calms you down, two helps you sleep, three will take you to a sleep you will never wake up from. And so she takes two, only to accidentally hit the royal jelly jar, spilling it onto the couch, which brings Fry back to life. You see the DNA from the couch combined with the DNA from when he fell in the jelly. He's back. He's safe. Everything is fine. Neat. Leela lets him know that she's glad he's back, he's not dead, and she wasn't responsible for his death, and that everything is fine. You have to wake up. Wake up? Oh no! No! <gasps> Leela begins to crack up, seeing the crew sing Don't Worry, Be Happy, while gradually all blowing up as a result of bee stings until coming to terms with losing her mind. She ultimately decides to open Fry's coffin to make sure he's still there. Only things get even more difficult for her to understand, and she wakes up. Again. So she decides her mind is falling apart, but that she's sane enough to know that, and she does indeed choose to eat the honey. Three spoonfuls, enough to sleep forever to be with Fry, since he is alive in her dreams and she doesn't have to deal with him being gone. Only at the last moment, Fry reaches out and tells her she has to fight. What am I supposed to do? Fight it! I can't! You can! The Leela I know doesn't give up this easily. Leela is losing her grip on reality. She lost her closest friend because she endangered the crew on a mission that she only wanted to complete to prove she was better. Her ego and vanity caused so much damage, she's contemplating a solution that can let her dream about a world where that isn't the case. And Fry... I'm so scared, Fry! I don't know what to do! Just wake up, Leela. Please, just wake up. As Fry continuously asks Leela to wake up throughout the episode, we eventually hear him breaking down as he says it behind the sound of hospital beeping. Leela wakes up. Fry, you're alive. Leela, you're awake. The ambulance took you here right after the bee stung you. The stinger went right through me and you got all the poison. It turns out Leela's decision to prove she could handle this mission almost killed her. The guilt over the damage she assumed it caused a crew member almost brought her to suicide. In reality, the damage she had done was to herself, and she needed to come to terms with that before realizing that any dream world where everything is perfect and you only made the correct decisions is a dead end. It's a nonsense fairy tale, and fighting to get back to reality is what matters. 
to get back to those you love and who love you. Everything in the episode is now recontextualized as Leela's point of view on the characters instead of them being themselves. On top of that, you see absurd realities of the world being treated as normal, like the stinger being left in Fry's corpse, or Bender immediately selling Fry's possessions, or the professor chopping someone's head off to analyze it. It's not that these things wouldn't happen, it's that this is what Leela would expect to simply be the case in her world, and as the episode continues, we get more and more abstract representations of her mental state. The episode sheds light on Fry's commitment to Leela, giving us clues that he did indeed put his jacket on her because she was cold, he did get her the gift, and his speaking to her is very likely what managed to bring her back, to pull her from the brink. Maybe if you heard a familiar voice, it might help keep your mind together. But who knows if it really got through. It got through, Fry. It got through. Ultimately, it told us what Leela felt about her own actions, what her role is within Planet Express. It showed us how she felt about Fry. It showed us what she loved about Fry, what he acts as in her life. It told us the effect she believes Fry's death would have on the world, and it told us that she blamed herself for everything. Her hubris, her pride, drove the crew to suffer, leading to a final decision to sleep forever. Only she realizes that the pieces of Fry she had left, that she's trying to bring him back, back with, that she's willing to die for, are the few pieces he's using to get through to her on her actual deathbed to bring her back to the living. His voice guides her back to the real world, and he gave up every second to make sure she was okay. Leela spent the episode believing she had killed Fry, only as it turns out, he was the only person preventing her overwhelming pride and guilt from keeping her in this coma forever. It's bloody brilliant.